So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can run your Crew AI projects for free. You're not gonna have to pay anything. You're not gonna have to pay for API requests. You're not gonna have to prepay for ChatGPT. And you're gonna have five different options for the large language models that you'll be able to use for your projects. So I'm gonna show you how to set up that API key. We're gonna use it through Grok. And at the end of this video, you will have done this in maybe five to 10 minutes. You'll also be able to run your project. You'll be able to customize it however you like. And again, you're just not gonna have to pay anything, which I think is great because if you're just testing things out that can get pricey pretty quickly so we're going to go ahead and get started so you're going to go to grok.com grok is a hardware company that's really pushing their technology for training large language models and what's really cool about them right now is that when you sign in when you sign up with them you're going to have access to basically five different models that you can use for your queries so you know how with chat gpt you only have 3.5 and 4 if you pay well with grok you can have five different options and then from here what you're going to do is once you sign in you're going to click more and then you're just going to click contact us this is going to take you to their you know the other information about their website and you're going to go to api access so here there's a page where they talk about you know what they offer and then for me you just need to go to playground on rock cloud and this page is where you're going to be able to access and create your api keys i created mine as you can see and just like that you have access to you know your grok api keys so now let me show you how you can quickly set up your project on crew ai so i'm going to link in the description this document that i created for this project that you're going to be using basically you're running python code on google cloud so you don't have to install anything on your computer you don't have to install anything on your macbook pc doesn't matter this is all going to be able to run through your browser again because it's running on google cloud so when you open this google colab notebook or this file that i'm going to link the first thing you need to do is you're going to go to file and you're going to save a copy of it in your drive. The one that I'm showing you is my original copy. So that's just so that nobody changes anything on it and everybody can keep making copies of it. So what you can see here is all the things that need to be installed in order for you to run your Cray AI project. And in case you get lost, I'm going to put this link in the file itself. You know, if you want to save it for later and reference the walkthrough step by step. And all you have to do literally is just go up here, runtime, and then click run all. Again, this is going to install everything that your Crew AI project needs in order to run. It installs us all again on this notebook. It doesn't install anything on your computer. And again, it's pretty quickly. It's fast to set up and you can just save it and edit it later on if you want. So as this is running, I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can go here to this little folder that's going to open the files that your project needs in order to run. Some of these files were downloaded by this project itself. And the main one that has the logic or rather the Python project that we're going to use is this one right here. It's just called Grok Business Template. And we are going to edit a couple of things on these files, like adding your API key. And then I'm going to show you how you can change the large language model that you can implement so you can run your project. And the first thing you're going to want to do once this finishes installing is you're going to open this file, your main.py. This is going to let you edit it on this left panel right here. And as you can see here in line seven, you're going to see this line that says Grok API key equals. This is where you're going to paste your API key that again, you got from the Grok website after you created your account. And after you paste your key here, you're gonna make sure that you either click Control or Command S, or rather you can go to File and Save to make sure that the changes save on the file that you have stored in here. The other file that you can edit if you wanna make some changes is gonna be the file that has what model you're running. So whether you wanna run the latest version of Llama 3 or you want to run Mixtro, you can edit that within your project here. You just have to open your agents.py file right up here. And as you can see here in line nine, where it says model, and then between quotations, it has the model name. You just have to copy and paste the model that you like in here. And again, make sure you save that file. So I just copied my API key and pasted it on the main.py file as I showed you earlier. So now we're going to go ahead and run our project. So all you have to do is click play or run on this main.py. So here we see it starting up. And again, for this project, it does ask you one question. That was just how I made it for this template version. So this is basically supposed to help you do some analysis on, on a kind of business you want to start. So we can put something like cupcake shop or whatever you want just to test it. And here, when we see entering new crew agent executor chains, that means that it's starting to run. And once you start seeing the green and pink letters, that's pretty much confirmation that it's running and it's using the API keys that you gave it. One thing I did want to mention was that there are limits for these API keys. So for each of these models, you can make up to 30 requests per minute and up to 14,000 requests per day. Now, 
if you go beyond this, all it's going to do is it's basically going to put you on a pause until I guess that minute is up, but you're not going to have to worry about that within the project because the way I set it up for here for when you run it is I did put a limit for this particular agent that the max number of requests per minute that it can make is 29. That way you won't get bogged down too much by it. But as you can see here, there are some parts in it where it kind of just takes a little bit of time to run. But then again, it is free, so it's just one of those trade-offs. And just to show real quick, this is the kind of error you're going to get. It's going to say something like rate limit reach. It's going to tell you the model you're using. And it's going to tell you how much longer until you can basically use it again. And again, because this is a copy of the project, you can pretty much do and change anything you want to it. If you would like to change how the agent acts, all you have to do is open the agents.py file and change the description of the role and the goal of what it's going to do. And if you'd like to change the task and what it's doing, you just have to go to task.py file. And again, you just have to change anything that's between quotations in order to change the behavior of, or rather in order to change the output of what the task it's going to do. As we move forward, I'll do a few more tutorials on how you can switch between the large language models that you want, whether it's OpenAI or Grok or even something like Gemini. And I'll make sure to create some templates that can help you switch between these easily. And also I really want to thank all of you guys that reached out this week. I had some amazing one-on-ones with all of you. Most of you are pretty passionate as well of either showing small businesses how to use crew AI or AI in general. So I'm really excited for all those ideas that you're making in order to help out those communities around you. Again, it doesn't matter whether it's an app idea you want to discuss or an AI project that you want to work on, or even if you're just having a lot of trouble with some of these installations, my calendar is there for you. So if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you're more than welcome to it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.